To use, to use English as the main language, press the return key. Hey guys, Mike Minor here. Another cool stuff today regarding MacBook Pro M1. Today I'll be sharing about how you can mine using your MacBook Pro M1 mining Raptorium. So the first step that you need to do is you get to download the Docker file or Docker installer from this website. I will try to provide a description link on uh, where you can download this uh, Docker installation. You can download the Mac with Apple chip. So you just have to press this and then the download will start. As soon as the download is complete, you can just click this and then you're ready for installation. So you just have to drag this into here and then uh, that's it. It's already installed. And then you'll just have to wait for it to complete copying to applications folder. As soon as you have successfully installed, so what you need to do is open up the Docker, click this one, and then run the Docker. And then you'll just have to say here, you just have to run, press open. So once it's uh, open, but it will prompt you for a privilege access. You just have to press OK and then you provide your password. Then install the helper. As soon as you have installed, the Docker will be running from the background on top on the, your upper right beside your... And then this one will prompt. So what you need to do is uh, you just have to accept the terms by the docker and accept as soon as you have accept then the docker will fully run so next step is you need to configure the resource of your docker which uh, you need to click the icon on top of the then preference you just have to click preference and then uh, after you click preference you click resource resources and then you set your cpus to 8 and then you apply and restart. So this is a configuration that will try to improve or will try to maximize your CPU in your MacBook Pro M1. It will try to fully utilize your 8 CPU. So that's the reason why we are trying to configure this uh, CPU resource. So after we set, it's already restarted. As soon as we install the Docker, we need to go to CPU Miner and then we try to download the code. So we'll just have to click this code on top and then download the zip. As soon as we downloaded the zip, we click this and then show in folder. As soon as we have downloaded the CPU miner, we'll just have to double click this. Then it will create a folder CPU miner grabx2 main. So what we need to do after that is we open up a terminal and then we need to configure first the docker file. So what we need to do is uh, we check the folder path, we go to the downloads folder and then we go to the, the CPU miner gr avx2 main. Then we press enter, change directory, go to that folder, clear the screen. And then what we need to do is we try to modify the Docker file. So from the Docker file, we need to locate this one because by default, this one won't, you won't be able to install or run this uh, CPU miner in your Mac OS. So what you need to do is try to paste this or try to put platform or try to put dash dash platform is equals to linux slash amd64 and then uh, another one you need to put here below which is the uh, here same thing you copy over dash dash platform dash or equal to linux slash amd64 after that press ctrl x then press y and save then after saving we are ready to build our docker so how to build is by typing docker build minus t cpu miner dash opt latest followed by space and a dot then we press enter then it will try to build our docker file the cpu miner we'll just have to wait it will take some time now the docker build has fully completed the uh, setting up the docker so the docker build will just actually build your images so what you need to do is you can check if it's successfully installed by typing docker images 
and you can see now it's already installed the docker cpu miner opt is already installed so the next step that you need to do is actually to run the docker run and it will try to you need to replace this with your uh, wallet address and your worker name so the last portion this is your this is your wallet address and then this is your worker name so the last portion so the rest is still okay but let's say if you're living in Asia so the Asia here the Asia server is fine ready but if you're living in Europe or somewhere you can change this which is the nearest on your end so you just have to check on the flock pool website where or which uh, ping is the fastest or which server is the fastest and then you get another parameter here which is no tune which means it won't be running anymore the tuning testing site unlike last time we are still testing on how many pages we need to run but this one it will try to mine right away so once I press enter it will automatically mine ready so currently the speed of the MacBook Pro M1 is uh, really not that fast compared to maybe the i7 but sometimes the speed might spike it might be higher so but it's the first time that I run this one as you can see it says here that the fail to initialize the large pages because uh, it's not totally supported by the CPU miner they stated that one in their website maybe in the future they might be supporting the M1 processor chip but currently they don't support that's why we are finding ways if uh, we are able to mine using uh, our MacBook Pro M1 so now we have automatically we have an accepted share as you can see here as you can see on my screen we have an accepted share ready one accepted share and then our speed is actually very fast I, I, I was not expecting this so it runs by 78.8 hash per second at an average of 76.9 so not bad actually I was thinking it might be uh, 20 only 20 hash per second so that's it guys uh, I hope you learned something on on how to mine on your MacBook Pro M1. To me, it's just uh, an experience and then a learning experience actually on how you can run your CPU miner in your Mac OS. It might be a potential in the future. They might be able to support the, the MacBook Pro M1 in mining uh, Raptorium. At the moment, they don't support this. They really specify in their documentation that they don't support. I hope they will support in the future if many are really mining. To me, I'm just using my MacBook Pro for, for my work and also for for the content uh, content creation. So it helps me on my productivity. It might be good also that I can mine, so I can be able to recover my investment on uh, the MacBook Pro. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and then please. Uh, like the video and then click the notification bell for more updates peace out and shalom